All right, drivers and dashers, welcome back to Pay to Drive. If this is your first time here, hit that red subscribe button, tap the notification bell, hit that like, and let's jump into it. So this was shared with me by Roshan Vance, so big shout outs to him. Uh, gig workers share how little they earn for delivery in minimum wage protests. Now, don't click out just yet. Stay until the end, my friends. So gig workers for services like DoorDash, Instacart, and Uber revealed how little they make per delivery in a protest seeking an ordinance providing gig workers with a fairer minimum wage. For the Wednesday protest, workers in Seattle, Washington attached receipts to 400 paper bags. The receipts showed the amount of money they made per delivery and the bags bore the logos of different gig worker delivery companies. One receipt on a bag with an Instacart logo showed that the driver made $8.19 for the delivery. Another on a bag with a DoorDash logo showed that the driver made just $0.76. Cents. Another DoorDash receipt said that the driver actually lost $1.87 making the delivery. The protesters are asking the Seattle City Council to pass a pay-up ordinance that would provide local laborers with a dependable minimum wage as well as other guaranteed rights. The rights would include paid expenses, access to business restrooms, anti-discrimination protections, and transparency around payments for laborers working for any 250 online or app-based delivery services. The minimum wage would be calculated per minute with money provided both for the amount of time a worker spends acquiring a customer's items and the mileage drivers cover while completing each delivery. While gig work businesses usually charge customers and pay drivers per delivery, the payments usually don't cover all the time and costs associated with the work. As freelance contractors, the money doesn't cover taxes, health care, or other costs such as gasoline, car payments, and auto repairs needed to keep vehicles operational. For example, Michelle Balzer, an Instacart shopper, told the Stranger newspaper in Seattle that she was paid $10.23 for a delivery job that took over an hour. The delivery required a 40-minute round-trip drive, finding 58 items in a grocery store, then waiting up to 45 minutes in a checkout line during the grocery store's peak hours. An estimated 8% of U.S. workers earn regular money in the gig economy, according to a 2016 study by Pew Research Center. Of those, 56% considered the income they earned essential or important. Over the course of a year, delivery drivers for companies like Uber Eats, Grubhub, Seamless, DoorDash, and Postmates make anywhere from $20,800 to $41,538 depending on the company and the available orders, according to USA Today. This calculates to $1,733 and $3,461 per month. A one-bedroom apartment in Seattle costs $1,659 on average, according to the financial website Smart Asset. In a statement to Newsweek, an Uber spokesperson wrote, delivery workers in Seattle turn to Uber Eats for flexible earning opportunities that let them make money on their schedule. We look forward to talking with the city about how, be how best to support delivery drivers without unintended consequences that could hurt restaurants and customers. Newsweek contacted Grubhub, Seamless, DoorDash, Instacart, and Postmates for comments. So there you have it. I This couldn't be good and bad. But we know how protests work in the gig economy. It just seems that it does it. It's done with good intentions, but if you don't have everyone on board, it it falls through. Unless this is just for a local government thing, like in Seattle. I don't know. But sometimes when you get the government involved, then they want to start making us employees and then start taking away our freedoms of being an independent contractor. You know, so I don't, I don't know what to make of it, guys. What do you guys think about this protest? Do you think it was it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? This is important. We got to talk about it. Also, make sure you guys are all subscribed to my other channel, Team PTD. Uh, we're trying to get it to a thousand subscribers. We're like a hundred away. So link is in the description. Make sure to turn on that notification bell and uh, all that stuff. Definitely go over there, watch the videos. There's more content like pay to drive and I will be adding more stuff. So 
Let me know in the in the comments or the chat if you're subscribed. Leave a comment saying subbed. There are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. 